the difficult issue of mental health. Uh, some of the issues, too, of mental health. Put in place sweeping mental health reform. Dangerous people, mentally ill people. That the White House and some lawmakers are pointing to mental health in response to the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. But in the old days, you'd put them into a mental institution. President Trump advocated for more institutions to deal with mental health on Monday. It's a topic members of both parties are addressing, but in different ways. I don't want folks who have serious mental problems to be able to go in and purchase a gun. Democratic lawmakers Bill Pascrell and Carolyn Maloney are introducing a bill to reinstate the Obama era mental health background check for gun purchases. President Trump repealed the rule last year, which required Social Security officials to report records of some mentally ill people deemed incapable of managing their finances to the FBI's background check system. You need a, a, a multitude of actions to uh, cut access to, to guns and, and bullets from people that are mentally deranged. There's no question that he was mentally deranged. How much would this actually help? Zero. <laughs> It's uh, another red herring. Anytime you chase mental illness in relation to gun violence, it's a red herring. And the reason is because less than three to five percent of all violence in the United States is attributable to serious mental illness. Dr. Liza Gold edited the book Gun Violence and Mental Illness. She says reinstating the Obama era rule would not decrease gun violence. The evaluation of whether someone can afford to whether someone is competent to manage their own finances has nothing to do with a risk assessment for violence. While both Democrats and Republicans are continuing to explore ways to address mental health and gun violence, there's still no bill on the topic that has bipartisan support, and that includes Pascrell and Maloney's bill. We clearly believe that there is a gap in our background check system that needs to be filled. While not related to mental health, there seems to be momentum for another gun bill known as Fix NICS, which would ensure states report criminal information to a federal database. But those checks do not cover gun shows or online sales. The House already passed a version in December, but it's tied to another measure that would allow reciprocity of concealed carry permits across state lines, which could be a non-starter in the Senate. In Washington, Samantha Giroth, Spectrum News.